Hey everybody, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal. In this video, what I want to do is talk a little bit about Ecotta Equina Syndrome. Um, this, you know, oftentimes we see people with back pain and, and we really don't know what to do with them. Sometimes we want to send them to a neurosurgeon and oftentimes, you know, it's we, we send them for nothing uh, or for the wrong reason or they uh, we just have like this urgency to send them. Well, there are certain reasons why you should send somebody urgently to a neurosurgeon um, or an emergency room. And some of the signs, number one, um, bowel and bladder incontinence and or the difficulty starting to urinate is a common sign of a cardioequina syndrome. Hyperreflexia, so you check the reflexes and he's actually a little bit on the hyper side. Um, and so if he's hyperreflexive on, on uh, both L4 and S1, something to be concerned about. They typically have some instability of the legs and they start to take on a wider base of support to keep themselves balanced and it's kind of incoordinated. Um, the other thing they might complain of is some, some uh, paresthesia in the saddle area and uh, males can complain of erectile dysfunction. So you want to check the reflexes if they're hyperreflexive, they're having a lot of pain going down the legs, they're having significant dramatic weakness bowel and bladder issues, um, you need to expedite those patients over to uh, an emergency room and hopefully to a neurosurgical office um, because the longer they stay compressed, uh, the more long-term damage they can have and have really significant loss of quality of life. Thanks.